Emerson Nangagwa and his ZANU PF delegation are on a shopping spree in Glasgow as the vast of Zimbabweans languish in poverty. Instead of attending the COP26 summit and contribute meaningful ideologies on how to protect the earth from global warming. The ZANU PF top dogs have been spotted splashing the taxpayers' money in expensive shopping sprees across England. Whilst other world leaders are putting their heads together and trying to come up with viable solutions on how they can reduce the impacts of global warming. The corrupt ZANU PF delegation under the leadership of Nangagwa have been making the headlines as they are taking this visit to Scotland as a shopping spree. Many questions have been raised about this delegation as it is composed of questionable individuals who have no role to play in as far as the summit is concerned, and a delegation that big was never necessary for this summit. Fidzei Mahir said, What's going on here in Angagwa? Is this what you've traveled for? What is our position on the agenda of the climate conference? Why turn the nation's participation in this important conference into a dubious fiesta? The Zimbabwean delegation is one of the biggest for this summit, and they have been criticized for wasting taxpayers' money, especially at a time when the country's economy is taking a nosedive. The Zimbabwean government lacks probity. The president and the country continue to be embarrassed in Glasgow by this conspicuous consumption, yet back home they left hospitals without medication and jobless youths. They justify looting by invoking sanctions. They are shameless, said Hopewell Chinono. More than 75% of the Zimbabwean population is living in poverty, and the few ZANU PF elite are living lavish lives. Charlton Wend said, Many families are sleeping on an empty stomach today whilst Nangagwa and his 100-plus delegation are busy embarrassingly spending taxpayers' funds in Glasgow. We must remove these looters so that we can have a government that works for the people. They plunder and exploit the natural resources for their personal gain. Infrastructure in the country is dilapidated. Civil servants are not paid in time and the salaries are so pathetic. Doctors and nurses are paid in bond notes which is equivalent to less than US $120. So when images of the Nangagwa delegation surface on the internet with shopping trolls full of expensive items, questions are asked. A private jet was hired for the over 100-man delegation to the COP26 summit. The money for the jet hire should have been used towards the welfare of the suffering citizens. Corruption and looting are the words that this ZANU PF regime is associated with. This has been evidenced by how such a huge delegation would go to attend a summit in Glasgow. An expensive jet was booked, and expensive hotels are being used by this delegation. Zambian President Hichilema traveled to Scotland on Emirates and an economy class with only two other delegates. Nangagwa hired a private plane and took with him more than 100 delegates for the same COP26 event. Then you blame sanctions, said Team Pachetu on their Twitter account. The ZANU PF regime has used violence as a tool to silence opposition supporters and as a means to do away with anyone that has an opposing view. The United States Embassy has shown great concern over the violence against opposition parties and has since issued a statement in this regards. We are very concerned about reports of rising political violence in multiple provinces. As Zimbabwe prepares for the 2023 elections, we urge all parties to refrain from acts of violence. Votes are won by ideas, not intimidation.